All right, this is a new setup that I've made. Um, we have one drive coil. Uh, this is going to be a second stage setup. Like my first stage, only the second stage coil is actually running the rotor also. <clears throat> we have our five volts of batteries. They come in here. Some capacitors to stiffen that up. And here we have our first primary coil our first stage drive coil and we have our first read which comes to here which switches the positive uh, on and off to this coil and then we're taking our back EMF off of this coil running it through this diode to this rail and we have capacitors and I have little jumpers here and more capacitor and then it jumps up to here up to this rail we have another capacitor and more jumpers and one more capacitor uh, so we have, these are 2,200 microfarads, so there's 6, 7, 8,000 microfarads, um, and they come across to this rail. And then we have our second coil, which is this wire here, the blue one, and then we have our reed switch, which is over here. Um, then we're taking the back EMF off of that with this diode, runs through these little wires that come over here and we're storing it in this small cap and we have a limiting resistor or a load resistor here to keep the voltage around 13 volts because we're going to run that to this cap and then we're going to charge this battery now this battery has been sitting around for a long time it's a 7 amp hour 12 volt battery we have our leads hooked up and she's 4 volts 4.3 volts so and we don't have that hooked up yet. If you can see, when I hook this up, that load resistor is going to bring our battery voltage down. Okay, so this battery is really down there. Um, all right, we're going to fire this thing up. I'm going to give it a little self-start here because it hurts the reeds if I start it off slow like that with these loads. We're going to hook up the battery. <clears throat> Now we're going to hook up the battery. I'm pushing 12 volts into that. Now if I disconnect this again, you'll see that she'll float back down. Alright. And so we're, now we're back up. Sorry about the focus. Okay, so we have the batteries running this coil and this reed. Now if I take this reed away, this this will shut everything down. No back EMF anywhere, our battery voltage is dropping, and all. I'll bring it back in. Now we're going to measure this rail voltage here. three point five volts okay now to prove that this second stage is running and actually running off of the back EMF and we only have five volts here when I pull this reed away our voltage is going to rise now watch the reed see how she flashed and you'll notice that the rotor slows down when I take that read away. So it's actually helping this run. So we're running the first stage off of the BMF. We're running the second stage. Then the BMF off of that is directed into this cap and into this battery. Back up to our three volts. Let's see. Put this back on here. Thirteen four. Now we'll disconnect this and see if that battery took on any kind of charge. Okay, she's floating back down. Now put it back on. All right. These are just some 
place to keep my magnets. It's a metal plate. Some extra magnets for uh, polarizing the reeds. Running a second stage off of the back EMF of the first. Now we can measure our battery voltage here. Five volts. She's not dropping too much. That's our charging voltage for the battery. That's it. She's working. I'm going to make some more detailed videos this later tonight. Thanks a lot.